Richard Cottingham was born on the 25th of November 1946 and is an American serial killer who operated in New York City and New Jersey between 1967 and 1980. Cottingham was given several nicknames including the Butcher of Times Square, the Torso Killer, the New York Ripper and the Times Square Torso Ripper due to how he dismembered his victims and only left their torsos behind. He targeted sex workers in Times Square he was convicted of murder in 1981 and after being caught fleeing an attempted murder and between 1981 and 1984 was convicted of five murders. He is officially known to have killed six people but he claims to have been responsible for between 85 to 100 murders. He is incarcerated in the New Jersey State Prison. Growing up he was born in the Bronx and was the first of three children. In 1958, when he was 12, his family moved to Rivervale, New Jersey. He graduated in 1964 from Pascoe Valley High School in Hillsdale. After graduating, Richard worked for his father at Metropolitan Life Insurance Company as a computer operator while taking computer courses. From 1966 until his arrest, he was a computer operator at the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association in New York. On the 3rd of May 1970, he married his wife in New Jersey. They had three children together and in April 1979, she filed for a divorce due to her husband's extramarital affairs and his known sightings at local gay bars. In June 1980, after Richard's arrest, Janet resubmitted her divorce claim. Cottingham's first known murder was the 1968 strangulation of Nancy Schiava Vogel. She was a 29-year-old married mother of two. Her nude and bound body was found in a car in Ridgefield Park, New Jersey. She had last been seen three days earlier when she left home to play bingo with friends at a local church. On the 2nd of December 1979, firemen in New York responded to an alarm at a hotel in Times Square. Where they forced their way inside and put the fire out, they found two corpses. Both bodies had their hands and their heads removed, and they'd been set alight after being doused with lighter fluid. The missing body parts were never found. One victim was identified as Dede Godazzi, 22, an immigrant from Kuwait who was working as a sex worker. The other corpse was never identified. Homicide detectives linked the murder with that of teenage sex worker Helen Sykes, who had gone missing from Times Square in January 1979. Police found the body of 19-year-old Valerie Ann Street in Hasbrook Heights Quality Inn in New Jersey on the 5th of May 1980. Their hands were tightly handcuffed behind her back, she was covered in bite marks and was beaten across the shins. She died of asphyxiation and traces of adhesive tape were found on her mouth. This murder was linked to an earlier murder in the same motel. A 26-year-old radiology technician named Mary Ann Carr was also found brutally beaten near the same hotel, but police could not link the crimes. On the 15th of May, Jean Rayner was stabbed to death in the historic Seville Hotel. On the 22nd of May 1980, he picked up 18-year-old Leslie Ann O'Dell, who was soliciting on the corner of Lexington Avenue and 25th Street. At some point she agreed to have sex with him for $100. Around dawn, they checked into the same Hasbrook Heights motel where he'd left his last mutilated victim. She rolled onto her stomach after he offered to give her a massage. Straddling her back, he drew a knife and put it to her throat as he placed a pair of handcuffs on her wrists. He began torturing her, nearly biting off one of her nipples. She later testified what he said. You have to take it. The other girls did. You have to take it too. You're a whore and you have to be punished. Her muffled cries of pain became so loud that the motel staff, already spooked by the murder 18 days earlier, called police and rushed to the room demanding that he open the door. He was apprehended by arriving police officers in the hallway. When arrested he had handcuffs, a leather gag, two slave collars, a switchblade, replica pistols and a stockpile of pills. At his house they found a trophy room where he kept personal effects from his victims. A strong case was built against Cottingham during the testimony of three surviving victims. He was found guilty of murdering Streets, drawing a sentence of 173 to 197 years in prison. In two following trials, he was found guilty of four second-degree murders. 